In this video, I will show you how to cut text into wall. So basically, the first thing you need to do is to create a wall. Go to the floor plans. It doesn't matter if you are in mechanical or architecture uh, template. Uh, you can use any of the templates. Select the floor plan, create a wall. Here, we're just going to select some basic wall which is there. Architectural wall 200. Uh, thickness. So let's say I will have a 10 meter wall. The height is 4 meter. The length of the wall is 10 meter. So let's go to the uh, north elevation so you can see the wall. It's somewhere here. So let's move it first to away from the <coughs> level so we can see it clearly. So now, we are going to add in some model text to cut through the wall. So let's select model text. Here it will ask you to pick a plane. So just click OK and pick the wall when it's highlighted. So now you can type in your text. So let's say this one is AutoCAD. Revit Auto yes. So let's say we want to put it at the center with the key. Now we can place it anywhere in this location. So we can also edit highlight the mod at uh, the text and then click it. Uh, you can change the text height. Let's say I want a type of 1000 mm so click OK so it will be much more bigger. So let's move it and place it at the center of the wall. Now as you can see, if we set it into a shaded view, uh, realistic or shaded view, here you can see that the text is already set and placed in the wall surface. So in order for this text to cut through the wall, let's select this text and select this thickness. And remember the thickness of the wall is 200, so let's place in negative 250. Click apply. Now if you look at the text wall or if you go to the plan view, Shaded, uh, it's much more easier to see in the 3D view. Uh, let's go to this view. Here you can see that the text has, from this surface, has protruded out of the wall. So let's go back to 3D. Now select this text. Right click. Override, select override graphics in view by element. Here we're going to set the transparency to 100% so it will be clear and transparent. Click apply, then click OK. Now to cut through the wall, or we just need to use the uh, modify or join geometry tool. Let's click modify, join geometry. Select the text first and then select the wall. Here you can see that the text has already cut through the wall as it is transparent and it's joined with the wall. So if we select realistic or shaded view, you can see that the text has cut through the wall. Let's see on the east side. Let's see at the back side of this line. So we can show it to you that it's already cut through the wall. So now there is a void in the wall surface and in the solid wall. So that is how you create a void text into the wall or cut a text through the solid wall in Revit. Thank you.